All right, so this is lithium. Um, what you really want to look for is LiFePO4, which is a um, iron phosphate type of uh, cell. Um, three point, this one has 3.2 volts total at 75 amp hours. 75 amp hours is just sort of the capacity of what it is. Inside of this will be a bunch of uh, smaller cells all in parallel. And um, what was it? And then you wire four of those in series to get 12 volts. Now, when you do this, you want to have, let's see if it goes back to it. Nope, there it is. So I use this one, the 100 amp uh, Smart BMS. Uh, it's only $75 and you want to get this one. There's a drop down where it, it shows you all the different types of configurations you can get, whether if it's lithium ion or uh, iron phosphate. On the iron phosphate, they have eight in series, 12 in series, or four in series. For that particular module, you want to get four in series. So it depends on what voltage you're running. This is going to be for 12 volts for typical car audio guys. So that's 200 plus 75, so it's 275 shipped for 75 amp an hour. And then what you can do is build a case for it. Now there's a lot of other people out there. I was trying to find Oscar's stuff, Mr. Music Man. So, but he doesn't seem to have his uh, eight amp hour things anymore, which he was selling for 269. So eight amp hour, eight ocho. And what he was doing was just using, uh, let's see, oops, let's see where we go. Uh, nope, that's not it. Uh, there we go. So what he was using was just, um, where's it at? There, these headways. So headway is kind of expensive. So um, this is a used cell, but again, because it's uh, this chemistry, um, it actually has a really long cycle life. I think it's like 50,000 cycles or something like that versus regular lithium ion, which has about 5,000 cycles. Uh, and these are only $6 each. So the eight amp hour, and uh, they also have them other configurations. They have a 10 amp hour, a 13 amp hour, and I think there was one more. But just keep your eyes on this site. This is batteryhookup.com. So you can also make your own if you want. That's actually a cheaper way to go. It just involves more um, uh, labor. You can also buy one of these modules where you pull them apart and then rewire them for whatever you want. That's another way to do it. They also do this one. This one's a, I would actually get this one more to pay it a little bit extra um, because it's good for 300 amps. Um, and then that way you could add more um, batteries later on in parallel and still manage them. So, but uh, that's what I would do. Here you go. These are also tested. Um, I think these are used, but usually they're like working pools or something like that. So um, let's see what else. Oh, my fan is like super thermal controlled. Uh, here's some other options. Uh, look, read the, the fine print. This is only three amp hour and you can tell it's 4S. So, or no, that's a cold cranking amp. It's probably 45. Three amp hour though for $92. Not sure if that's shipped. And then there were some other deals I got. See, there you go. That's 100 amp hour, but you don't know if it has built in BMS, which is a battery monitoring system. Um, it sort of makes sure that the battery is charging equally. Um, I saw another thing, let's see, here's Oscar's version. Uh, 15,000 farads, he's just putting a bunch of caps in a box. Um, there, that's another one. So for some reason, Oscar thinks that you gotta put uh, balancing BMS on uh, capacitors, you don't. Uh, capacitors automatically sort of balance themselves. Uh, they're not quite like, um, battery storage systems like batteries, you know, like a battery. So capacitors are a little bit different. So, but these are some other solutions. I think this looks almost like a homemade one. This might be just from Alibaba, China, and they're asking $800. So again, you really want to make these yourself. That was one of the reasons why I don't offer them is because I think the prices are still too high. Um, here's the one from JY Power if you want the best of the best. And this one's only 40 amp hour and they want $1,000 for it. So it looks really pretty. They're out of the other ones. Let me see, I wanted to show the discontinued uh, batteries lithium. They had a really nice, um, yeah, these were really nice. Um, and I think, yeah, this is their internal cells. This is what they look like from the factory. And then they just put them in these cases. That's it, that's all they do. And uh, if you do your own research on Alibaba, you can have them too. But that was it for lithium. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. 
it's best to build it on your own. Nobody, nobody um, has any really good products um, that are available for retail. Um, if you can watch Battery Hookups or BatteryHookup.com, sometimes they will have a ready to go solution that's like an all-in-one and it's it's prepackaged it has built-in bms and all that stuff and what's cool about some of their bms too is that you can hook them up to uh, small computers and monitor them which is kind of cool you can like monitor them remotely which is interesting um i think that was it other than that you're only going to find sharks in the water so don't buy retail uh, unless you want to spend a bunch you know then you can buy from jy power and impress your friends that you paid a thousand dollars for 40 amp hours other than that, it's the, the market is so new and everything is so expensive. And I, again, it's, it's relatively expensive. The cheapest one way to go is just lead acid. So you can pick up used uh, lead acid batteries for like 40, 50 bucks each uh, in most metropolitan areas. Um, and people either refer them or they just, um, you know, have access to them. Sometimes they get them from servicing uh, different companies like a... Um, like a server farm. So a server farm will have what's called UPS, which is uninterrupted power supplies. Uh, any comm station, any microwave station, any cell phone tower will have UPS, which is uninterrupted power supplies. Uh, typically, traditionally, they've used um, large, very large two volt cells that are probably the size of each milk crate. And then they wire all, you know, 18 of those in series for 36 volts or whatever the station is running at, which is some stations run at 36 volts, some run at 48. It depends on whatever it is. Um, but uh, what will happen is like, like me locally, Interstate Battery has a lot of contracts with a lot of either commercial uh, providers or car lots or whatever. And so they swap out used batteries all the time. And so I can get them for really, really cheap, like 45 bucks. And uh, typically that's what I use in my golf cart and things like that. Um, uh, sometimes I resell them for uh, car audio when somebody wants just really cheap and I sell them for like, I think like 80 bucks. You, you always just got to be cheaper than your market area so that you can attract buyers. So if that helps. But uh, that's my video on lithium. It's not that big a deal. I highly recommend you read lots and lots. Um, and remember, just because it's on the internet doesn't make it true. So, and also try not to pepper the forums with dumb questions. Read books read uh, articles, uh, tune in, watch a lot of YouTube videos about different things. And, and typically you wanna, you wanna get them from higher production quality um, vendors uh, on YouTube. Like I know that my production quality is very low, but I, I'll, I do my best to have a lot of the uh, up-to-date technology and information uh, on some of the information that I share with you guys. So, but um, I think that was it. Um, that's the, the blue cell that I was showing you, the 75 amp hour. I'll have a link to it in the um, description. And then the, the two optional BMSs. I I'm actually going to get the bigger one. And then um, for that setup, I'm actually going to get it for a client who has a little BMW that he wants to put two Cylon 12s in. And uh, he bought this little excess power. I mean, it's like it's no bigger than it can fit in the palm of my hand. He paid $450 for it. I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, no, dude, for what, 280 under 300 bucks, we can get 75 amp hour, which, as you saw, the JY Power sells for 40 amp hour, almost half that for $1,000. So, again, it just, I mean, this is good for you if you're seeing this video, because then you can be a reseller, especially if you can, uh, you can repackage those setups. Um, don't do any of that. Um, I don't know who, what brand it was that was uh, basically repackaging and then adding like spray foam and a bunch of other ha hack stuff inside the cells, which is not great um uh i, I want to say limitless but i'm not sure i don't want to i don't want to dog anybody that doesn't deserve it i only dog uh, uh people that deserve it <laughs> you just hate man i know i'm not no i'm not no and no. i have many many reasons to hate so and i make sure that i do my research on those before i hate on somebody but other than that i love you guys um be careful buying lithium also um i'll put a link to um some other guys that I got turned on to about uh, buying used lithium and things like that. A lot of that stuff is just, um, it's a lot of work and I don't recommend it for most people. I recommend just going through um, Battery Hookup. They seem to be the best and their, 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 their inventory is constantly changing. So um, that's why it's good for you to get, pick something up and then maybe flip it for double. That way you're below market price, right? So you're helping somebody out. You also get to experience it and use it for say a couple months and then you recoup your money and then you can go buy another one or you can upgrade. See how that works? 
So, and that's how I got all this stuff, basically. You just repeat that process. So, anyways, I'll let you go. I love you. Bye.